Welcome back and good job reaching it this far in the course. Unit 3 provided us with an opportunity to apply what we have learned from human communication and interpersonal communication by seeing how important the process is as we participate in small group activities. Communication and the relationship between group members are keys to problem solving in group situations. Like we saw with relationships in Unit 2, groups also experience a development process. Communication helps to improve how groups accomplish the development process as well as how they accomplish the challenges that the group members are assigned. You no doubt have also noted communication theories that help us understand how we behave as we communicate in groups. Some of these theories help us improve our communication practices and help us avoid poor decision making, like the theory of groupthink. Congratulations! We're now more than halfway through COM001, and now it's time to move on to Unit 4, where we will apply what we have learned in the previous three units to the communication scenarios that we encounter in the workplace. In Unit 4, we will focus our attention on the relationships between managers and employees, as well as on the relationships between coworkers in the workplace. This unit will challenge us to use our knowledge of ethical behavior in our ability to apply theories to predict the outcome of these relationships. You will also see how successful communicators understand how powerful communication between leaders and employees can be in creating an innovative work environment. Be sure to be taking notes. They will sincerely help you in understanding how the units of these course connect together. Congratulations on reaching it this far in the course. 